唔该呢个罗宋汤啊，罗宋汤 Russian soup。Borscht. How did Borscht take over every single Tat Tan Tang in Hong Kong? I guess we'll have to go back in time to the Russian Revolution. 1930s, a lot of white Russians, they're loyal to the Tsar. Communist forces took over. They had to flee Russia, and a lot of them ended up in Shanghai and in Hong Kong. They opened up these fashionable Western restaurants, or Cherikov, Jimmy's Kitchen, and Queen's Cafe. Some of those are still around. Of course, in Hong Kong, beets were not that popular at the time, so they had to use tomatoes, which made the soup more sweet. This kind of Western cuisine continued to filter down to the cheaper Tatan Tangs, where you can still find a lot of the blend of Western and Chinese cuisine. There were so many Russians. Back then in Hong Kong, where are they now? Well, if you walk around in the Happy Valley Cemetery, you can actually see a lot of Russian graves. But in the 1950s, the majority of the Russian migrants did move to Australia for better opportunities.